All right, let's see if we can do this. I just moved. And as such, all of my toys in my collection is packed away. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to try and review a good many of them as I unpack them. Uh, since I'm going to be unpacking slowly anyway. Today I wanted to look at the Star Wars Scaled Lightsaber Replicas by Master Replicas. Master Replicas held the Star Wars license for a long time. I don't know how long. Uh, they lost it in 2007 which makes me mad because the next saber they were scheduled to release was the Return of the Jedi style Darth Vader lightsaber uh, which was the last one that I can really think of that they needed to do anyway today I want to look at the Obi-Wan sabers they come in a nice little black box that tells you what it is on the side that's a nice picture of it on the front cover opening it you get a glare from the lamp you get some bio about the saber or about the character. Um, you get a nice look at the saber, and you can see me in the reflection. Uh, this the saber and the stand. Let's pull this stupid thing off. Now, the other thing I don't like about these little boxes is that this thing that looks like it's kind of felt, it flecks off black dust all over the place. So usually you have to wipe the sabers off when you get them. Stand is a nice symbol display piece that says what saber and what episode it's from. There's two hands or arms and it usually doesn't matter which way they go. These don't even look like the right ones. Let's see if Just somehow snap into place. Click. Um, in addition to the sabers, Master Replicas also made scaled blaster replicas, just two or three. I have the Stormtrooper one. Uh, they also did Han Solo and I think Boba Fett. And then they also did some mini uh, helmets eventually which we'll get to to as I unpack hmm and okay there we go they also made these stands that you can buy separately uh, these display bases rather tier display three spot also comes with a clear acrylic clear acrylic cover that I'm not gonna go get to put on here but then you can display three sabers in a nice unified manner so we have here the As First Built by Obi-Wan Kenobi Saber, the Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Saber, and the Phantom Menace, or sorry, the Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Kenobi Saber. That's interesting. I could have sworn it was marketed as Phantom Menace. It's the same one he had in Phantom Menace also. Um, let's start with that one because it is my favorite, and this is the one that was really rare and hard to find by the time I started getting into this line. I believe it was one of the first ones they did, so it's just available in fewer numbers. These are heavy, uh, largely aluminum and plastic. They're like the limited edition saber hilts that Master Replicas made, which were meant to be um, as screen accurate as possible, only scaled down to a um, just under half scale size. So they were much more affordable. Most of them were, I believe, twenty or rather thirty to thirty-five dollars retail. Um, anyway, the Phantom Menace Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Saber Hilt is pretty. It's a cool design. I like it. It's very glossy, so you're going to leave fingerprints on it. None of the buttons do anything. It's just a paperweight, really. A proper replica, but it's cool looking. And I really wanted the arms the other way. This is the Revenge of the Sith Saber. This is probably one of the three cheapest sabers you can still get on eBay. They made a billion of the Episode 3 sabers. So the Anakin, the Darth Vader, Obi-Wan, and I think Yoda ones are still really easy to find. Let's see if I can get that out of the glare. So you can see it's got some nice detailing in the emitter. Um, the grenade part here is plastic, but... I don't remember what the rest of this barrel part is called. This metal, this is all metal. The switch doesn't move. Like I said, nothing turns. It does have a belt clip. 
It's very accurate to the design. The as first built by is meant to be a an imagination of what his episode four or Star Wars lightsaber would have looked like when he first built it. Notice it's very similar, but still distinct from the uh, the episode three saber. He must have made some modifications to it. The, this thing is in a different spot. The, the switch is different. This is the same as the uh, episode four Luke Skywalker built. Um, it's got a round C clip for holding onto the belt instead of the, I don't remember what that's called, the plastic latch one. It's got different buttons on the side. Black ring with circles in the emitter. It's a really cool, distinct variation. I like it. Um, Luke Skywalker's Return of the Jedi Saber, which, when he rebuilt it after losing his in Cloud City, um, and I just realized maybe I have this overexposed just a little bit. He built a new one, and it's patterned roughly after Obi-Wan's. It's got a similar but distinct grenade section. Um, it's got the same uh, pommel, a triangular clip, as opposed to the circular clip there. Again, the little narrow neck with the thing, and then the emitter. The emitter shape is different. But, but again, anyway, it's takes its overall design from the Obi-Wan Saber. And that is three or possibly four of my Star Wars mini-sabers. Thanks for watching.